All right. We're six days after the last update. Although you'll probably be watching this fairly soon after um, I upload the other one within a day or two. Um, since I didn't get to upload the other one before we left on vacation. Anyway, I'm here in my porch and I'll show a panoramic first. I finally emptied out my laundry room, so no more updates from up there for the season. Um, we're going to make the rounds here. Got my Peruvian purples looking much better after a week upstairs in the grow room uh, to recuperate from the fall and crushing incident they suffered. Oh, especially this one's doing very well. Uh, okay. And then there's the Congo orange. And I'll show you for a size of the leaf. These pl this plant is doing really well. I'm glad to because it's my only one. So I'm going to nurture that. I'll probably end up overwintering it so I can get some more pods next year. I'm still struggling with figuring out which ones I want to overwinter. I'm pretty sure the lemon drops are coming in. But anyway, Nagabon number two. The other one's outside, so this one's doing really well. These were out in the porch all night. Um... Anaheim's, these two, and my Hungarian black, and both Pimenta Denade, and the three CGN 221.84s are getting pretty lush and voluminous finally. And the Pero Sweet, eh, I seem to be having trouble with sweet peppers in general. One of my Pimiento plants died, so, um, and then there's my... Oh yes, bird's eyes. Um, sometimes I confuse the bird's eyes and the eximium. They look faintly similar. Leaf color is a little different, but they're similar growth habit. Pretty tall. Um, and then there, here's the unknown from Dale Baker. Uh, you see this one's doing quite well. And then my three monkey face all in a row. Here's my Eximiums, my white Fatalis, looking good. Very, very, very nice, very healthy plants, both of them. And my three Bikino Irisemas, which are, you can see, starting to throw out some small flower buds. And these are small pods anyway, so I'm letting these ones all go. Anyone, any plants that are this size or bigger, by the time the summer's over, they're going to be two or three feet tall, most of these plants. I mean, I got several that are foot plus tall now anyway. Uh, here's my three Zavories. I don't think they're starting to throw out flower buds yet, but I could be mistaken. No, I don't see any. So, there they are, and then my red RBB gusanos sprawling out nicely. You can see this side branch really long off the main stem after I topped it. But you can see some small flower buds forming on this one, too. I'm going to let those go. So, yeah, there's another panoramic shot. And we'll head outside now. So cold. It's probably less than 50 degrees out. There's a shout out to my other veggies and fruits there. They weathered the windstorms well while we were gone on vacation. So, Okay, and now these, unless we have a frosty night, these are all staying out now. These ones right here, these were all the ones that were in the greenhouse. Um, my three red ricottos. As you can see, this one after I clipped the top off of it, it's starting to throw out a bunch of new growth. These other ones, uh, not quite as much, but they are throwing out some new growth. And here's my three white butts. And you can see it, they suffered some sun scorch in the greenhouse. They weren't. It's not because they were wet, but because the, there was beads of water on the greenhouse and it focused prismatically through and burned some of the leaves on these and uh, on my scorpion maruga here. But these plants are all looking pretty good overall still. They're tall, pretty sturdy. 
Um, could use a little more reinforcement, which is one of the reasons I decided to keep them out, in addition to needing more room so I could finally harden all of these off. My orange Manzano, it's doing okay. It, I, when I got back the other day, it was drooping, so. And my three Teo. Oh, they really perked up since I put them outside here, Yet, even just from yesterday. I think that they generally prefer to be outside, even if it is a little cooler. It's quite chilly out, especially with the dampness. Um, and here's my orange Cheyennes, again, starting to improve. But they really suffered edema and sun scorch, you can see. Uh, and just not liking the basement environment. And here's my turtle's claw, the R.E.B.B. Gusano. And that's another one that's starting to throw out flower buds tiny as they might be these peppers don't get all that big anyway so I'm gonna let these ones go they're nice lush eight to ten inches tall and my Chaco ants even these since I repotted them yesterday um, and then just left them outside they've been a really finicky plant sometimes they won't grow hardly at all and I won't water them for a week and they'll be fine and then if I water them even a little bit they leaves will yellow and curl and die so it's a really finicky plant so if I can get some seeds out of this hardy little bugger you can see they're fairly tall but just uh, sparse growth and here's my peach but jalokias finally starting to throw out some flower buds here which of course I'm gonna leave those these plants both are just mammoth doing really well they did really well being outside last night and then here are my two CGN 21500, and those do have some flower buds somewhere on them. Or at least they did. Oh no, I'm sorry, these aren't the CGNs. These are my red sevens. Sorry about that. Uh, it's another one that got sun scorched inside the greenhouse. But I'm leaving them. They got a lot, ton of new growth since last week, and this one is like a foot tall now, so. Uh, we moseying on over this way into the greenhouse which I had to I'll show you here Let's see brace it up because I'll show you in a minute why in addition to the quality craftsmanship of this the zipper it, the zipper itself it started to come off the tracks a little bit but the zipper itself actually crumbled I had this thing two months and the thing already broke um, and split in a few spots like this so uh, I'll get you guys an update in the future on exactly who makes this thing and I didn't even beat this thing up I've been I've been pretty ginger with it and it still uh, did not seem to like okay so I'm gonna turn off this fan here so you can hear me talking better here's my lovely elephant's trunk which really has improved itself since since I nursed it back to health after taking it out of the basement um, and of course that moral lesson being not to put plants in the basement anymore and here are my two bishops crowns there's a couple flower buds on one of these I think but I'm not gonna seek all day and my ahi crystal boom it's a 20 21 inch tall give or take And my Cori Sitakames, the second one is looking a lot better now since I repotted it last week. And here are my Tobago seasonings. And my Apaches. Moving along up to the two Cantina Yellows. This one fell off of the top shelf in this greenhouse while I was on vacation and my mom salvaged it. She said it was out of the pot and uh, so all the cocoa and cedar mulch that I had there is no longer in there. I'll have to get some more. Uh, and here's the unknown which I'm still thinking is a chocolate butt, but we'll see once it grows. And the yellow-orange bird peppers. Repotted those yesterday, and it was, as well as those Apaches and the... Um, trying to think of what other ones that I repotted. Anyway, moving on up. Got my yellow bullets, which are throwing out some mad flowers, you can see. There's one, and here's another, 
two actually. Three on that one node, wow. I have a feeling this one's gonna be prolific. And another Cantina Yellow, my oldest plant. Not oldest plant, but oldest Cantina Yellow. And then there's my Amazon Orange, doing really well. Repotted that one yesterday, that's what, another one. Purple Cayenne, which this is the one that was really suff had really suffered while I was a few days of negligence in the basement room. This one lost most of its old leaves, so we'll see if it does anything. And here's the other one. Another one that got sun scorched a little bit. But, and then there's my other two pimientos, which are look, still looking pretty sad. I'm not sure if I'm going to get anything off of these plants. I think I'll probably just let them go as is and see what happens. Um, and here's the two habaneros I got from the nursery, which are throwing out some flower buds. I'll probably pluck those off, but maybe I won't. I don't know. And my two purple UFOs holding steady at this size, give or take. Minimal growth on that one. Um, here's the CGN 2 1500s, and then there you can see some flower buds amidst that. Uh, my Tasmanian Red, looking good. My Big Nagabon, which has gotten a bit taller since I left last week, and you can see all this new undergrowth. Uh, looking very nice. Should get some good pods off that by the time the season's over. And my Jamaican Habaneros, the hot chocolate. Still looking really lush, and this is a really sturdy plant, both of them actually. And here's my three lemon drops which are throwing out mad flower buds, and I'll show you. Here's one of the bigger ones here. And the TC07246 species. And my two towering ahisitos. So here we are. All right, a bit longer of a video, but as you can see, uh, plenty to talk about and tour around everything. There's a panoramic of the greenhouse. And panoramic of these outside plants. So, I'll see you next week.